Prep the bottle just to be safe. I'm a fairy in a bottle. Nice. Boom. Extra life in a jar. Now, here's the funny part. There was a heart in this pot. That doesn't regenerate. But the fairy does. Okay. Why? Because video games. Because Nintendo. Oh, Lord Shigeru. Will your antics never cease? Well, obviously not, because he's been doing it for years. We Okay, so now we're down here, but it doesn't really look like you can go anywhere. Or can you? Or can you? You can rotate the room. This blew my mind when I was a kid. This, this like, at this point, 3D could do no wrong. There's a sculpture in this room. Yeah, no. Oh, look, more arrows. I should have just used the hook shot instead of wasting an arrow. But the arrow hits harder than the than the hook shot right now. Oh wait, no, there's another one. And that's just a wall. So let's rotate the room again. This is the point where I would get all ego raptor and go, this chip blew my goddamn mind when I was a kid. Because it did. It was like, at this point, 3D could do no wrong as far as little Drac was concerned. Because this felt like an actual labyrinth now. Okay, and what is in here? The switch. <laughs> Believe it or not, one of the boss room, or the the hallway to the boss room was actually graded off. So now that we've done that, we now have access. Oh no, we don't. Do we? Oh no, never mind. Nope, still graded off. Yeah, you gotta get that other one. Alright, well, flip the room again. So, that was the Skullchilla room, right? Yeah. So, this one is a wall. Rotate the room again! That's a wall. That's a great, but that's a, a switch that hasn't been pressed. Now we opened it. There we go. Now we can get to the boss room. Hear that, Alex? The end is almost here. Why not? Mm, not yet. Yeah, that's a switch. <laughs> My sentiments <laughs> exactly. Sir? So And I'm trying to remember what the... This problem still comes out. Yep. So now we can go to the boss room. Yay! And you'll notice they now have these big looming chains. Wow, well, this, this is kind of an underwhelming boss room. It's, a, it's an art showcase. Except it's all the same picture. I've been cheated. This isn't a boss room. I'm leaving. I don't think so, Lee. It's Ganon! It's Ganondorf! No! He's going to fight me this early? Welcome, everybody, to Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon! So this is the fun part of this dungeon. Oh. So you have to basically wait until he's willing to come out of the painting. 
And the more hits that you do, there will actually be fake Phantom Ganons. So thankfully, that was the fake one. If you hit the fake one, he gets a shot. All right, where are you, bugger? Oh, and he gets a shot at me. Oh. Oh. See, if they turn around, that's when you're screwed. Okay, so this guy's coming. All right, so phase two now begins. And this is actually kind of a little prelude to the actual fight with Ganondorf. So you saw that I can actually deflect his blasts of magic. This is where I get to have some fun and sing to myself. Take me out to the... Oh, crap. <laughs> No, no, I do. I just have to get a bright camera view. Yeah, so you should just probably stand where you are. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Fly me so... People might actually be wondering why I'm doing that. It actually helps me keep the rhythm. Okay, come on, Phantom Ganon. You know, you want to send another one to me. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. And now you're dead! Not quite. Take me out to the... Ah, crap! That was a little bit faster than I wanted. Take me out to the ball game, take me out to the- CRAP! <laughs> That's alright! Round two, mofos! Ah, Street Fighter! Really, I'm just trying to keep myself motivated and keep my rhythm. Damn it! This is literally the fight. <laughs> I can see that. Take me out to the full oh, oh crap! I think you should stop singing that song. It actually helps me keep rhythm. <laughs> okay, I'll keep quiet. Focus. Focus. Damn it! If I lose this, this is Andrea's fault. Okay, cool. Die, you stupid ghost from hell! So Link has become what we could call a ghost. I can't get it quite well. Looks like maybe we can need some slides here. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it would be so easy. What a wondrous creation that ghost was. And banish it to the gap between dimensions. In other words, he'll banish it to hell, but you know. Yeah. Localization. Limbo, basically. But Put that into the quote unquote shadow realm. Hmm. Ganon boy. Alright, so first things first. New heart! Ganon boy. Hmm. Ganon boy. Boy. Mm, and I wonder what's going to happen here. We're back in the Chamber of Sages. About to meet the newly awakened Forest Sage. And guess who it is? This was so sad to me as a kid. 
Alright, Alex, you're up. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am sorry, the sage of the forest temple. <laughs> I always believed that you would come. Because I know you. No. You don't have to explain to me. Because she knows who you are. Because it is destiny. And but you and I can't live in the same world. <laughs> I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please take this medallion. This made me so sad as a kid because I liked Saria. Why? Just because she's a forest I wanted to, I, I actually wanted, you know, Link and her to get together instead of Zelda. I have, no, I have no shame admitting that. Mm, Saria's cool. You receive the forest medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. <laughs> friend zone. <laughs> oh, and look. It's Cherrymon. It, it's dead Cherrymon. Oh, but look at this. What, what's going on here? A lone seed. <laughs> that scream was a bit unnecessary, Link. All right, why don't you go, t go ahead and take this one, Alex? Why did you do it? Oh, do you want me to do it? Okay. <laughs> Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria, or Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish, even though my older self was dead. Thanks a lot! So one of the things that happens here before we go into the di dialogue a little bit more, obviously there's a question. Kokiri are forever children. Why was Link allowed to grow up? Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. Does that mean they're from Neverland? Indeed. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. Hylian basically is human in this in this kind of oh, analogy. No, I, get it. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. So, how did a Hylian boy end up in the Kokiri forest? Some time ago, before the king of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. And lied to him the, his entire life. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. No kidding. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. All right. So now we know that seven years later, there will be a new Deku Tree. And also, a little bit of Link's origin at this point is now revealed. Because he is a Hylian. He is not a Kokiri. Hence why he is the boy without a fairy. He's not a Kokiri, therefore a, f a fairy was never assigned to him. Until Navi. So... Navi felt sorry for him, so she decided to join him. No, no, she was given a job. The Deku Tree made her. I know, I'm just kidding. Well, that's an even worse fate, you know, because now she doesn't even get a choice. Now, also, since we have freed the Forest Temple, Kokiri Forest is now easy to dwell in for all the Kokiri. Yay! Yay! 
we we saved this section of the world. We saved the world. Yes, we did. Whoa ho! Whoa ho! And uh, obviously, Epona's here to greet us back. To greet us back. She's been here for like hours. She's like, I don't even, I don't even know why. Listen to that song. You take forever to get anything done. <laughs> I am forever gonna hear about that, aren't I? Uh. Well, it's a good thing you didn't die that many times on even in the Deku Tree. Deku Tree. Uh, there. I didn't die in the Deku Tree. I know. I'm saying if that were, that would have been. <sighs> All right. So. Okay, so obviously our next, if you guys can't figure out where we're going to be going next, I don't know what to tell you guys, because uh, we can't see it from here, but there, if you guys remember, there's a big ring looming over Death Mountain, and we might as well just go in the order that we've been going in, so we were at the Kokiri, now we have to go to the Gorons and see what's going on with them. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this week. So when we get back, we will go to the Gorons and take on the next temple. Man, whatever these guys felt fed to the Volcano Gods, they really need to stop. That looks like some really bad gas. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's, uh, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You just like to make the flatulence jokes, don't you? <sighs> I probably shouldn't, but considering my bloodline. Yeah, think of what his brother would think if he didn't. Yes, I am not as bad as my elder brother. My elder brother loves making fart jokes. In fact, the, the reason that I know like a majority of the YouTube fart jokes is because of my brother. So I know of the farting preacher and all that. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. It's time for us to go to the next temple. Thankfully, we only have a little errand to do, but it is on the way. So, come on over, Epona. This is gonna seem like a crime uh, to a cr like a crime to some people, but we're only gonna ride her for a little bit because we just are right here, right now. <laughs> but I didn't even get time to go. Let's go find the Colossus Joe. Agro! Agro! Alright, so. We're going back up to Kakariko Village. Because we're going to go find the other secret in the graveyard. That helps Drac out in his trips through the temples. And before my before Andrea wants to make a sna snide comment about what I'm about to go get, hush you. Everyone can guess what he's going after, right? Oh, and I, I better address this now. So a lot of people might actually state in our Forest Temple run through, uh, Andrea sounded really distant. That is because, unfortunately, we did not know that one of our mic cables had a short in it, and uh, her mic was literally not working. So, yes, we're aware, and yay, you guys can hear her again, can't you? Speak into the mic again just to make sure they can hear you. Hopefully they can hear me. Because you've got a lot of snide remarks to say to me. But it's more gonna... hopefully they can hear me. They can hear you just fine. Because I, right. I always come up the quiet one. Yes. Yes, you do. But it's all right. We still love you for it. But never trust the quiet ones, people. Or you go berserk. <laughs> I didn't say it. You did. Okay. Well, I say we go. I say we paint ourselves in tiger stripes and go free all the animals in the zoo. <laughs> Why? Okay, so we're just gonna come here and get some fairy in a bottle, cause I needs my extra lives. Cause Drac is too lazy to go get more hearts. hearts yes, please. I am too lazy to get more hearts. The game provides me with plenty. I just 
One of these days you're gonna like play this super hardcore mode and just get the bare minimum hearts. Uh oh, I got a text message. <laughs> I guess you could say I was saved by the phone bell. Well, while they're not uh, well, while they're not lecturing me, let's go ahead and uh, go in the same progression that we did before. So, before uh, in the first three dungeons, we went through the Great Deku Tree, which which I can't talk today, which was Kokiri. Now we're gonna go back to the Gorons and see how they're doing after the seven-year-long reign of the Great Ganondorf, as Ingo liked to call him. The Great Ganondorf. I swear, um, The Legend of Zelda gave me one reason alone to hate Luigi. And I don't want to hate Luigi. You remind me more of Waluigi. We don't speak of Waluigi. Waluigi is the thing that we all want to acknowledge never happened. And yet it did. What's wrong with Waluigi? I, I would like to say that there is nothing wrong with Waluigi, but his existence, that, that's what's wrong. It's not, ex it's not really explained. It doesn't really make any sense. Well, does anything in Mario really make sense? Good point. I mean, I didn't even know who Wario was until I played Mario Kart 64. <laughs> That's because he was in a Game Boy game. I know. He was a villain. Well, I know An that evil now. Mario. And that's what Waluigi is. He's just the Nega, Wal Nega Luigi. Yeah, that's really what he is. Well, you can't have a you can't have a a Wario without a War Luigi. A Waluigi. Luigi. Okay, that is awesome. I got this done on the first try, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Who oh, could you do this to me? You, you're getting to our servant! Hear my name and tremble! I am Link, hero of the Gorons! No, I'm Link. Why are you portraying yourself as a false Link? You are a false prophet! He doesn't want to talk to you anymore, apparently. Apparently, because I, I, I lit a bomb on him, so there you go. Um, There's got to be something that I can show him. Uh, I don't have access to Zelda's letter. Gotta show him the reforged sword. Uh, I can't show him anything, really. The sword was destroyed. It's been rebuilt. It's been... Oh, he, he... I was talking to his butt. That's what was happening. That, <laughs> you know what? Episode title. Talking to his butt. All right, so... Yep. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. Yeah, and? My dad's Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your... And, and while Alex is getting food, <laughs> I'm sure that'll be hurt. That'll be hurt on the mic. So please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. As you can see, Goron City is actually empty. My dad, Darunia, went to the Fire Temple. A dragon is inside. We're going to fight ourselves a Dargon. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Oh, <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was bigger. You better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. So what should we t what should we ask him? About the dragon or about the Gorons? About the dragon. Both of which are not going to be good subjects. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living in this mat living in this mountain. No rule thir thir rule thirty four people. I know what that looks like. Uh, probably because it's Volvagia. Nah, I've, I've heard both pronunciations. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons! Man, he must have had a really bad digestive tract, because he was literally digesting rock people. 
using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! Destroyed it just like that! This is a myth from long ago, but it's true! I know, because my dad is a descendant of the hero! Of course! 